when I was thinking about uh, this question of memory, uh, I thought about it a little bit different after December 25th. Because um, late in the day on the 25th, my father, 88 years old, died. And he was a man for whom the mind was very important. He was a philosopher. And in the last few years of his life, like with many people, uh, his memory started to go. And this was not a life that he felt was necessarily uh, worth living. So the end was, in fact, uh, was quite beautiful. And I started thinking about my memories, and I started thinking about his memory and how he will be remembered. And he wrote many, many books. And in the year before he died, I arranged to have his archives put into the University of Pittsburgh, where they're going to be digitized in some type of form uh, or another. And as I was thinking about that, I wondered, you know, about that digitization. I was going through a study and I found, I don't know how many of you remember these DVD ROMs that we thought were so important, you know, to keep information on. And there were stacks of this, of these things. They went into the bin, right? His stuff that's been published that was interesting to him, it, it's out there. It's going to be out there in the archive. But I was thinking as I was looking at these columns of DVD ROMs. I live in Rome. And not far away from me in Rome is Trajan's Column. I don't know how many of you know this, but it's a column that the Emperor Trajan uh, built in order to memorialize his conquest of the Dacians, the Romanians. And it goes up in a spiral. It goes up, I forget how many, hundreds of feet high, but it's the same height that the hill was that used to exist there that was destroyed by Trajan's people so that they could build his forum there. And it memorializes it, but how much of it can we see? We see only the stuff down around the base. And academics now, of course, if someone's gone up on a scaffold and taken photos and they can study it, they want to study, you know, what happened up on that place up there. You know, who were those women who were taken away to slavery? Who were those men, you know, who were killed? And they're very specific about that. And the Victoria and Albert Museum now has uh, Broke it, has done a copy of Trajan's form in the size that they broke it into two levels and built balconies so you can study it. But for most of us, what do we see? We just see a little bit of it. Now I walk around Rome and we see the ruins. We see only little hints of what existed before. And what has to remain with us to make sense of this is our imagination. And that's something I think that no amount of technological advance is going to touch. Because when I think back on my father, what I remember is not the things he wants to have remembered, all of the great advances he made in decision theory and all of that. I remember being five years old and him taking me to buy a cupcake. And that's what memory means to us.